Hey Vogue, it's Pink Pantheress and today we're going through my skincare slash makeup routine. I wash my face with La Roche-Posay. My friend told me once that her sister had bad acne and then it dissolved as soon as she used this and that's why I've been using this since I was about like 13 years old. I'm gonna keep it so real, I don't touch my forehead. I do not touch my forehead on a daily basis. I don't think I've touched my forehead in a few weeks at this point. I view my forehead as like a very, very complicated and sacred thing and I therefore won't touch it. Because someone told me Naomi Campbell doesn't put foundation on her forehead. That might be wrong, but ever since I heard that, I haven't let it go. Toner from Laneige. Just a few drops. I try not to pull too much because I hear that it gives you wrinkles at an earlier age. So the next thing we have here is quite a it's a small luxury, I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans, all in one, tiny bit on your hands. You can go ahead and touch your forehead now. Me, you know I'm not gonna do that. And one thing that people forget about is their neck. Can you believe that? I personally um, never forget my neck when I'm doing my skincare. A lot of these products are recommendations, but if I'm not getting something recommended and I need something specific, I'm not gonna lie to you, Reddit. Take it or leave it. That is a, it's a great website. I've gone to Reddit when I've found no hope in any other corner of this earth. 111 skin, day cream. You know, you never find yourself reading these things until you have to, you know? But this is basically moisturizer. Okay, so we're gonna do the temples as well. This is just a light massage, you know. Days can be stressful, so you just need to calm yourself down in the morning so you can prepare yourself for all the bull that's going to be happening in the day and for me that can be a lot sometimes i'm a cosmetics person i like getting stuff done i like getting my nails done my hair done i like doing my eyebrows i mean what's left of them that's kind of what relaxes me it's just nice sometimes to feel i don't know pampered the most crucial thing is sunscreen i learned this the hard way a few times we're getting a bit close to the forehead here, so I'm just gonna, you see? That's the, okay. And then the temples, down to your neck. And I've got some broad shoulders, so it, it's going right down on these puppies. We just need to cover it. And the next thing I do after this is foundation. I think I'm at a point where I found two of the perfect shades to mix together to find my shade. Header, I am not comparing myself to who I'm about to mention, nor am I saying I'm anything close, but I do look at Beyonce. For inspiration when it comes to makeup, I'm not gonna lie, those early 2000s looks that she was serving with the like very minimal makeup, the nice strong eyebrows. She had a thin brow too and I and I loved it. I think it's so beautiful and I, it sounds really weird but like the gap here, like just below the brow is my favorite part of the whole face and hers was always looking delish. We're gonna go in with the MAC Studio Radiance. I'm mixing it with this uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So now my foundation is just melting in. I feel like the more confidence I've had over the last few releases of music, I feel like the more I've actually wanted to experiment a little bit more with my looks and even the way I dress has changed. And I feel like what I love about makeup is that you can match it so nicely to what you're wearing and that's not something I necessarily thought of before. I like furthering my aesthetic to more than just my music and like my clothes. I like embodying what I'm trying to look like. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is my liquid blush. I love The Simpsons so much that they did a collab with Revolution and I bought as much stuff as I could. And it was actually, I was actually gonna buy it so that I could just keep it, but I ended up using it because it was so good. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and when I say a little bit, I mean like a really tiny amount and this will actually do your whole face. So I'm actually just gonna put a little bit on my under nose there. Okay, see, now it's coming together a little bit better. My favorite collaboration has been... Mm, Kay Trinada was a really good one for me. I always mention Kay Trinada because that is my... That is my man. I love him. And then a very underrated one, Where You Are featuring Willow. Just a tiny bit more here, here. And what it gives you is just a nice little... Like, look at the cheekbones. All of a sudden, they are there. All of a sudden, they're, they're with us. They're in the room. I am just going to put a little bit on here and it just creates a nice rosy effect. This is speaking Spanish and I'm speaking a different language. This isn't translating, but trust me, in real life you can see it. 
this is the best product on the market. Don't be jaded because it's a Simpsons collab. You're not too good for the Simpsons. Relax, relax. So I like accentuating this part of my eyes. And if you're East African, we do tend to have this part a lot. And I love it, I think it's really cute. So what I do is I take this blunt MAC pencil in cork and I'm just going to basically, where my natural line is, I'm just kind of gonna dot it. I'm not even gonna like draw it, I'm gonna dot it like this. Cool. So this is the MAC Hort and Naughty Lash. I don't even think they do make this mascara anymore. See, we're vintage over here. We do everything vintage. We don't do anything new, new. I just think for me personally, having a thicker brow kind of drew away from what I wanted people to look at, which was more my eyes and my cheekbones. See, it's very simple. They're there, but they're just, they're like, they're not like too strong. They're there, but they're not strong. They're like, they're there, but they're not going to the gym. I transitioned recently to a very pink blush. It's ridiculous because I'm fearless, you know? I do things. I do things for the thrill of it. I'm going to put some on my cheeks. So as you can see, it's very, very bright pink. It's giving Barbie. Speaking of Barbie, Stream Angel by me. Uh, if anyone hasn't heard it, it's got an Irish jig in it. A lot of people were surprised that I put an Irish jig in the middle of a song for Barbie. I think, listen, sometimes I have to, I have to be a patriot of where I'm from. I'm not from Ireland, but I'm, I'm damn near. I'm damn near from there. This is Max Factor Facefinity Bronzer Powder. You know I'm not going up here, but is it wrong for me to go down here? Lip liner. For anyone that's seeing Olivia Rodrigo live next year, I'm the opener, so you know you're gonna see me first and then her. You don't need to arrive for me if you don't want to, but it, I would greatly appreciate it, thank you very much. For this album that I've put out, I feel like I've had to really get into my performer headspace, navigate and figure out like, I want this side of me to be shown and this side and you never want to come across as fake but you also want to protect your sanctity and your privacy. It's a very hard thing to navigate. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hard candy lip gloss. Last step before I leave the house. I feel like it wouldn't really be me without a bang. I'm just going to remove these clips. Without touching your forehead, we're just going to move the bang this is the finished beat, the finished look. It's not quite beat, it's more like smack. Thank you so much for watching this video. I don't thank anyone enough for allowing me to be in spaces like this and doing this in front of a camera. I really do appreciate everyone for watching this and yeah, lots of love.